other attacks on the Jewish community in 1920 and 1921, 1929, were uh, instigated by a call of the Mufti of Jerusalem, Hajjamin al Husseini. Hitler didn't want to uh, exterminate the Jews at the time, he wanted to expel the Jews. And Hajjamin al Husseini went to Hitler and said, if you expel them, they'll all come here. So what should I do with them, he asked. You said, burn them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that caused a lot of flack, of course. Joining us now is Dr. Andrew Bostom, professor of medicine at Brown University, PJ Media columnist and author of Iran's Final Solution for Israel. Doctor, welcome. I want to spend a little time on this and then get to the incitement uh, that's, that's really causing uh, all the violence against Israelis at the hands of Palestinian terrorists. But how accurate historically is Benjamin Netanyahu? Because he sort of backtracked a little off that. Right. I think he made, the, Steve, the basic point that he made, which is valid, is that none of none of this jihadism, which was fomented beginning in 1918 by Hajime al Husani, who called for an annihilation of the Yishuv, the Jewish community back then, uh, has anything uh, to do with pure uh, Nazism. Uh, it is it is an indigenous form of annihilationist Jew hatred. In fact, Hajime and, and so it has nothing to do with settlements, borders, etc. In fact, Hajime al Husani formulated everything together in a fatwa, 1937, uh, which I had translated for the first time into English. And basically, Steve, in a nutshell, it is the most virulently anti-Semitic themes from mainstream canonical Islam put into a condensed form, actually distributed, reproduced by the Nazis and distributed to the Muslim legions that they were recruiting uh, to join the SS in in uh, the right. Caucasus in the Balkans. All right, so that so that that fits in though. That 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 does lay the groundwork for where we are today. Because where we are today, what we have seen this morph into again, because it's not the first time. Uh, right. The Palestinian Authority, forget Hamas. We know about Hamas. The Palestinian Authority, Fatah, they've turned this into. It's not about land anymore. It's not really about you know uh, this or that or disagreements on settlements. It's about religion. They've turned this in through their incitement into a religious conflict. No? Absolutely. And one of the themes that Hajimin al Hussani repeated over and over was this idea that the Jews, per the words of Muhammad himself, had to be killed en masse to usher in the Messianic Age. It's in one of the canonical hadith. The, the current Grand Mufti of the Palestinian Authority, not Hamas, uh, repeated this this hadith on a public platform in, in 2012. Um, so what you've got over the last month, just October, is 48 stabbings, five car rammings, five shootings, 11 Israelis killed, 132 injured. And the constant use of, of Islamic incitement invoking Muhammad's mass beheading of the Jews of the Banu Qurayza, uh invoking the Jews as apes and pigs, which is a Quranic verse, Quran 560, repeated by Muhammad. These are the themes over and over again, Steve, that the, that the, that the Palestinian clerics and even political leaders are, are invoking. And even Netanyahu, uh, it, it, you know, despite his clarity on certain things, will just talk in vague terms about incitement. He doesn't really want to touch the the canonical Islamic basis of this, and I think it's to the I think it's to the public detriment because it may make the problem uh, seem intractable, but it is what it is, Steve. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't agree more. And the United Nations, correct me if I'm wrong, they recently renamed the um, the plaza, the Wailing Wall Plaza, uh, after the horse of Muhammad. You know anything about that? Uh, no, but it wouldn't surprise me because, uh, you know, the, the idea that somehow anything that the Israelis do in, in terms of, of paying respects to their religious right. sites, like the Temple Mount, anything that they do is considered Judaization. Right. You know, it, it, it's, it's crazy. So, so sure, they might promote uh, the, the notion of uh, Barak, you know, the, 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 ho the, the horse, speed, yeah. uh, you know, uh, the, the whole idea, the only claim that the Muslims have to that, to that area where the Temple Mount is, is is an alleged dream of Muhammad. I mean, right. that's how remote from sort a of actual... Andrew. I want to I want to just have thirty seconds. There's is there any way to 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 blunt the incitement without the Palestinian Authority stopping the incitement? Uh, yes, I actually think there is, and it starts with the Israelis. It starts with 
with Jews worldwide to point out exactly what it is. In other words, that that to point out the text that this is coming from right. and to have the world understand that that the world has to rise up. And by and the way, say, and, and Andrew, by the way, we're paying for that, for the textbooks and the incitement on Palestinian TV, the United States taxpayer. Thank you, Andrew. Andrew Boston, up next, more of the show. Don't go away.